Hello people on the internet. In this video, you will see me doing six and a half pet paintings. This is the first pet painting I worked on. The composition is designed by a local artist friend. This painting is already at a later stage. I'm using a small dagger brush to create dynamic fur-like textures. I always wanted to create a life-size full-body dog painting, so I stretched the canvas onto a 24 by 36 stretch bar frame I had laying around. I applied a few layers of gesso and sanded it. I don't know why I'm wearing a tank top over a t-shirt. Please excuse my fashion choice. While the newly stretched canvas got to dry, I started another small 10x10 dark portrait. For dark painting number 2, I used the monochrome underpainting to map out the composition. I used umber and white off the canvas with help of mineral spirits to create value. I choose umber instead of black because I want to give it a warm undertone, for it's a creature with blood. I also tried hard to not give this dog an airing. Dark painting number 3, which I have already done underpainting with is ready to apply another layer of paint. For this painting, let's call it cat painting number one. I found myself loosening up quite a bit compared to dark painting number one. I found fur texture to be sufficiently represented by the intentional laying of brush strokes. I like this look. Looks fluffy from afar, but rather raw and translucent up close. Dark painting number 4 is the biggest pet portrait painting in this video. I used a different approach. I applied a slightly thicker paint of the very first layer of the dog. I then used a thin monochrome layer for the background just like how I did it before. No particular reason, just changing things up. But looking back, I think I tend to have a tighter drawing when I do a monochrome underpainting. So I think that's what I should do when the accuracy of the painting is a high priority. Back to dark painting number 3. I started to add more subtle color shifts, adding cooler tones, lighter values, and highlights which helped the dog to pop out and look fresh. Back to the first dog. It's ready for another layer. Darker colors sinking a lot. Therefore, to bring out the colors, I applied a thin layer of oil. Without oiling out the true colors, it would be really difficult to judge and match colors. Anyway, judging by its shiny hair, it's safe to say this dog lives a better life than me. I individually put in highlighted hair but of course, it looks artificial, so one must selectively soften. A 
another layer to further blend and add opaqueness. This creates variety not only through the hue of the paint but also through physical thickness, through the translucency of the paint layers, which is a property I love about oil paint. This dark painting number 5, but I will call it Panghu because this is a commission and that's the name of the dark. Also this is oil primed canvas, Old Holland quadruple oil primed glass and linen canvas, which is infinitely superior than any acrylic primed cotton canvas. The color is a lot better, way less sinking, especially if you don't draw but rather directly paint onto the canvas. It's able to be so smooth and you just glide the color, the paint across the canvas. And if you make a mistake, it's so easy to wipe off. Olga saw my pet paintings on Instagram and said she wants to do a pet painting too. So I invited her over. Because firstly we can discuss and learn from each other and solve problems with two brains instead of just one. Secondly, painting with another artist is like studying in a library. 
you magically become more focused and efficient. For this cat painting, I started with linear drawing. Then I started adding muted tones to render big form. And I was also being considerate of the brush mat making to create fur like texture. This is a rough mashup of uh, underpinning the first layer. Still, still a long way to go, but I'm satisfied. I like the aesthetic of this one a lot. Looking back, I can see how it slowly evolved from this photo-like painting of dark painting number one to this more kind of illustrative, uh, painterly up close kind of painting. I plan to update this painting in a separate video series, painting with my friends. Or something like that. Haven't decided on the format yet, so subscribe to find out.